Okay, now we need to find the equation of a line, and they gave us two points. If we had a point and a slope, we'd use point slope. Ha 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 ha! Here they give us two points, and we know we need a point and a slope. All we need to do, now that we have two points, is just pick one of them, and we need to find a slope. How are we going to find a slope? Well, let's go. Da da do do. They give us two points. And we have a game plan. The game plan. First, we're going to find the slope. Then we're going to pick a point. We're going to use that slope and picked point in y equals mx plus b, or perhaps point slope, if that's your preferred method. So here, see, we need to first find our slope. Our mm, slope, that's a uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Yes, we are familiar with this. So then, until you're a professional, I strongly encourage that you label. This will be, this will be, this will be um, x1, y1, and then this will be, this will be, this will be x2, y2. And it doesn't matter to you which one is your first and which is your second, as long as you keep it straight. So my y2 is 12. And then that's minus my y1, which is 10. Then divided by my x2, which is 6, minus my x1, which is 4. Sure. Finish him. 12 minus 10 is 2 divided by 6 minus 4 which is also 2. So now what do you do? You reduce and you reduce. You deduce that you can reduce by a deuce and your mm, slope is 1. So now you have a slope mm, slope which is 1 and you need to pick a point. But which point? Ooh, One of the original points. It doesn't matter which you pick so I pick you. So now we have a mm, slope and a point. That point is 4, 10. And then we just turned it into a problem that we know how to do. With a point and a slope, we're going to put it into y equals mx plus b. Or equivalently, we can put it into point slope, which is y minus y1. That's equal to mm, slope x minus x1. Now I'm going to use this one, y, because it's different than the last example and I want you to have exposure to as many methods as possible. And I think this is consistent with how your book does it. So then here we go. y minus, what's y1? Oh, Ooh. that's x1, that's y1 as a point. That's my point. My point is that my y1 is 10. And then that's going to be equal to my slope, mm, slope, which is 1. Fun. And then this is x minus. What's my x1? My x1 is 4. Sure. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. So then I'm going to have y minus 10. And then, ooh, ooh, doesn't change a dang dang. That's that one. It's the identity property. x minus 4. Sure. Now let's put it in y equals mx plus b. So then, in order to do that, there, say, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add 10 to both sides. And we add 10 to both sides. And we're going to find that y is equal to, wait for it, x plus 6. And then what? You know, fox and flower. It is way too hot in the summer here in California to be shooting these videos. But I'm going to push on through. Whew.